Hi everyone, this is a short presentation of a software I prepared for Android devices to navigate your 3D Studio Max scene. Here I have a 3D Studio Max already started its um, version 2012. On the right side you have this utility panel. Push the More button and you have a um, dialog with uh, plugins you can load. Right on top on this list I have now uh, 3ds max wire plugin this is from me so I push ok and I load this plugin you can here um, see here on the right side it's a pretty small rollout with just one button start uh, server so I start the server and the server is now ready to get um, to receive the, uh, signals from your Android device um, I have a tablet Android device now and with uh, the with the application already running it. So on the left upper corner you have um, settings uh, symbol. So I push the settings symbol, I go to Bluetooth connection menu, I push the Bluetooth connection menu and I have two uh, Bluetooth devices available now. Um, I choose the Sandy Bridge one, this is the one where the 3D Studio Max is running now. So it's reading connection succeeded. And I'll go back to main la uh, layout. What I can do now, I can navigate in this scene. I can rotate, I can zoom, and I can pan all these well-known gestures. With double click, I can toggle between the smooth wireframe and smooth plus wireframe rendering modes. Well, as a designer, you can use um, this tablet, this 3D, uh, this Android device with your left hand to navigate in the scene and with, uh, with mouse, for example, you can, well, you can modify the object. I can go to sub mode, sub object and do something with this BMW, for example, you can make um, a limousine out of it, voila. So this is pretty much to this software. It's, I found it's pretty easy and comfortable to use. Uh, don't forget you need two parts to make this uh, stuff running. You need the APK uh, file for your Android device and you need the DLL file for the 3D Studio Max. Thank you for listening and I'll be happy to get your comments. Ciao.